good you guys it's your girl Kiara and today you guys are gonna be on my little self-care journey for the weekend I have so many things planned um, it's mad early and I have a European or a Brazilian wax schedule for 1045 so I'm about to go in there right now get my wax done I haven't gotten a wax in a good five weeks and so your girl is hairy, okay, period. I'm moving back to my hometown, so I'm back in Brooklyn, and I kind of have to find a whole bunch of different new people to support to do my self-care things. So after I do this wax, I'm gonna go get a pedicure and a manicure from across the street. My nails is really looking crazy, like I was fighting bitches. I'm getting microblading tomorrow, so her name is Miss Foy. She's an esthetician. So I'm gonna take you guys on my journey. So yeah, let's, let's get up in this wax, and then afterwards, we're gonna head over to the nail salon and maybe grab a bite to eat and i have my mom with me so it's lit <laughs> It was super quick and easy, and my girl, she did such a fabulous job. What's her name? Her name was Erica. And she is black. Support black people. She was super dope, and she did, like, my little happy trail. She also, like, put some serum on there for, like, ingrown hair, and it wasn't painful, and she, like, counted it down before she ripped the strips off. <laughs> she was like, all right, three, two, one. Because I cannot take any kind of pain. And then they convinced me to get the yearly pass. I got that thing. Yeah, you get uh, two free br two free waxes. Okay, so right now we're in the nail salon. We're getting our pedicures. I'm getting my gel so far. I'm about to just get some regular white gel on my toes, which I'm really excited about. I always get the same thing, it never changes. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna get a regular manicure because I want my friend to do like a custom design for me. So I'm just gonna get a regular clear manicure and then I'm gonna go to her later and she'll do a custom design. I just got my tips taken off for now. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next clip. to this little Mexican restaurant. We love tacos and burritos. Mexican food is life. So we're gonna come right over here. After the nail salon, it's giving a vibe. Here we go. All right, you guys. So before we walk in, I just wanna show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm rocking a small black business. Suck my dick respectfully. I'm going to post his Instagram in the description so you guys can purchase your mask if you... <laughs> want to let people know like don't play with you respectfully and then also the sweatsuit that i'm wearing is my brand faith ruby and this sweatsuit is super comfy and i really love the colors i believe he has like three or four of the colors and i'm just rocking that with my yeezys and my gucci purse um so yeah it's really giving a little comfy vibe <music> of my self-care i'm running like 10 minutes late from my microblading appointment but i'm about to go in and get my eyebrows microbladed this is like this is how my eyebrows are looking right now as you guys can see my eyebrows are like pretty bushy and they're just like not they don't have any kind of shape like i don't know what's going on with the tail end of my eyebrows they just look really wacko so hopefully um, Corral hooks me up. I'm super excited. And yeah, I'll show you guys how everything looks when I get out of there. So stay tuned. <laughs> 
I'm gonna show you guys a close-up but this is how they're looking I actually am so in love with them right now they're very dark compared to what they're going to be later so they're gonna get lighter naturally um, it's almost very similar to how henna work the dye it forms a scab on top of your hand or wherever the henna was placed and then it like kind of chips off and underneath is a lighter layer so that's sort of what this is going to do when it comes to like the process it was like a tiny bit painful like on a pain level from one to ten it was like a four it felt like i was getting like an eyebrow tattoo and it probably lasted about an hour um i was able to look at it and see if i like the shape and i there was like a little adjustment i had her do on the left side and she did it with no problems she was very quick and easy and she kept checking it checking in with me and asking me like how was everything how was i feeling she did put numbing cream on it as well you guys i'm really loving it i am loving it so much um so support my girl i'm gonna have all of her instagram yeah you can book her through instagram it's brows by miss foy and her studio is so cute and i'm just really excited because i won't have to wear any makeup she says that this procedure um it lasts for a whole year um in a month i'm going to get a touch up just because she said in a month you'll know like if you like the shade if you like the shape so she did let me know like you know you have to shape up your eye your hairs that are just going to grow in naturally around that so she sent me the aftercare and pretty much it says for 10 days you avoid water contact do not touch the healing pigmented area with your fingers they may have bacteria on them and create an infection. No makeup tinting or lashes or brows, sun, soap, sauna, jacuzzi, swimming. And keep it dry and clean. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm so excited. I was going to get my nails. I was going to get a custom design on my nails. And I was going to get... um. It's not called acrylic. It's called, it's an Aprish gel extension. So you guys have probably seen that on Instagram. Um, but I was going to get that instead of like acrylic because acrylic really thinned my nails out. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. Probably not. She did recommend me to just um, wait a month until my nails get back healthy again. And then we'll schedule that appointment. So in this self-care vlog, I'm not going to be including that. But in the next one, I definitely will probably in my follow-up because I have to wait a month to get my nails done and then I have to wait a month to get my follow-up and I have to wait a month to get my next Brazilian wax so in my follow-up self-care vlog I will show all of that again and I'll probably come with like some lasering because I'm interested in getting like um some of my face hair lasered because your girl is hairy y'all I'm so hairy naturally so yeah if there's more you guys want to see let me know and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um and i'm looking forward to recording more things like this for you guys so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one talk to y'all later